and criticized Nikki for her corrupt foreign dealings as a military contractor, she said that I have a woman problem. Nikki, I don't have a woman problem. You have a corruption problem. And I think that that's what people need to know. Nikki is corrupt. This is a woman who will send your kids to die so she can buy a big That question of authenticity, and I think that's deeper here. We were just talking about the trans issue. This is a symptom of a deeper cancer in American life, identity politics. This new religion that says your race, your gender, and your sexuality are your identity. It is anti-American. It is meritocratic. It's anti-meritocratic, and it is dividing this country to a breaking point. And I've spoken about this to the left. My books are all about this. I've preached this to the left, but it's even worse when Republicans try to play the same game. We're talking about that trans issue. And Nikki Haley's campaign launch video sounded like a woke Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light ad talking about how she would kick in heels. At the first debate, she said that only a woman can get this job done. That's what she said. After the third debate, when I criticized Ronna McDaniel after five failed years of leadership of this party and criticized Nikki for her corrupt foreign dealings as a military contractor, she said that I have a woman problem. Nikki, I don't have a woman problem. You have a corruption problem. And I think that that's what people need to know. Nikki is corrupt. This is a woman who will send your kids to die so she can buy a bigger house. This is the problem. Using identity politics more effectively than Kamala Harris is a form of intellectual fraud. And it actually needs to end. There's our donor puppet masters wielding their puppet right up here tonight. This is how this game is played. The puppet masters put up their puppet, and I reject the use of identity politics in this party. It has been a cancer coming from the left, and I'm sick and tired of the double standards the people of this country are too. Having two X chromosomes does not immunize okay, you from thank criticism. You. Thank you. We have to stop the chaos, but you can't defeat Democrat chaos with Republican chaos. And that's what Donald Trump gives us. My approach is different. No drama, no vendettas, no whining. I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. Else, your adult daughter. The next generation of Americans are using it. And that's actually the point. You have her supporters propping her up. That's fine. Here's the truth. You're just the easy scum. answer is actually...